at the moment I'm sitting in the garden of my institute Centrum Badan Kosmichnik and uh, this place is uh, very specific to me uh, because uh, when we are in the garden we feel the sunlight we feel the warmth of it and this is what actually I'm working on so my work is related to the sun and how it produces the emission the light that we see i used to joke about this to my colleagues that this is completely different and this is such a heaven for me because if you want to go to enjoy if you want to relax you go to the parks and my office is in the park my name is arun avasti i work in centrum badan kosmischnik and uh, thanks to the Pacific program of Polish Academy of Sciences, uh, I had an opportunity to work on what are called tiny bombs in the atmosphere of the sun, also called microflares. In Hindi, my mother tongue, the meaning of my name Arun is morning sun. To understand uh, the mystery of the universe, you have to start with the mystery of what is nearest to you, and that is the sun. Because sun, although in a sense technically near to you, so that you can have a lot of images, lot of radiation that is emitted by the sun, recorded and study them, but the the uh, the physics of it that you learn is applicable to any star in the universe in addition to the ground based telescopes which observes sun in different wavelengths. By wavelengths, I mean H alpha is the representative wavelength in which we observe the sun from the ground-based telescopes. And when we go to the space with the telescopes, we then have a capability of observing the sun not just in the visible wavelength, but also in the ultraviolet, extreme ultraviolet, or even X-rays and X-rays is the specific wavelength band which was more fascinating to me since I started working in solar physics. When I uh, look at the sun from, uh, from feeling its warmth to looking at its uh, beast side in the images that I have, I just wonder whether our uh, vision is sufficient enough in general to see the beauty and beast nature of anything that surrounds us. What, we, what I mean to say is we only see the sun in the visible light wavelengths where it is a, a good sign to have a sun because then we have the life on earth. But when we know the dark side of it in the form of different wavelengths and the energy that it emits, it gives me a thinking that a complete spectrum, knowing something, not just the sun, but knowing something requires more than what is in front of your eyes. So the programs like Pacific give you freedom to give you an opportunity to showcase your idea to turn into a reality. It is like a start of funding where you kind of have an opportunity to, to uh, plan and execute everything. And also at the same time, learn to be managing a project of funding. And I, as a Pacific Fellow, has, have always been uh, independent, have always felt independent to plan whatever was important to execute my ideas projected in the, in the Pacific, in the fellowship. 
and therefore I think this is highly recommended for anyone who wants to become from a researcher to an independent researcher or even a mentor. I always wanted to uh, see the dancing lights, the northern lights from my eyes because I knew from learning about it that the radiation from the sun, the charged particles from the sun, they, they come down as close to earth to you to be observed in the form of these lights called aurora. But being in Poland gave me this opportunity because Iceland is so close and this part of the time when there is solar maximum going on, so the sun is quite active and I am also in the proximity of Iceland. This gave me an opportunity to visit Iceland uh, in this March and I could, I was lucky enough to capture, to observe these northern lights with so, uh, so much excitement and uh, uh, capturing them is, although it is like astrophotography, but watching them in front of you, these dancing lights all over the sky with the, with the, with the dynamic scale in which these lights you can see is something that is, I think, unimaginable. <laughs>